Today on Knowledge, we string a Ned Karate replica. First, you will need a piece of thrown light, a light kit, and a lacrosse head, which all can be found on thrownlacrosse.com. There is a link in the description below. You will also need to complete the light top string tutorial from Knowledge One. To see that video, hit the eye in the top right corner with a link in the description below. Horizontally stretch the first three rows of mesh. Next, grab one of the remaining sidewalls and tie a knot four fingers from the end. Insert the string into the second sidewall hole from the top. Place the string in the first diamond on the first 10 diamond row from the front to the back. Wrap the string around the head and insert it into the same sidewall hole. Place the string back into the first diamond from the back to the front and pull tight. Karate uses a very channeled high pocket, so we're going to skip two holes and do a special interlock, commonly called an SI. First, place the string into the outer diamond on the second 10 diamond row from the back to the front. Skip the next two holes on the sidewall and insert the string from the outside in. Place the string on the top of the loop and pull tight. To finish the SI, place the string back into the first diamond on the second 10 diamond row from the front to the back and pull tight. This is an SI knot. Next, we're going to do a knot interlock, or a KI. First, place the string into the outer diamond on the third 10 diamond row from the back to the front. Again, we're going to skip the next two holes and insert the string from the outside in. This time, we're going to wrap the string around and place it inside the loop. First, pull on the lead string, and then pull on the second string as tight as you can to create the knot. Just as the SI, place the string in the second 10 diamond hole from the front to the back, and pull as tight as you can. This is a KI. Now we're going to start forming the pocket by stringing a two knot. Place the string into the outer diamond on the next 10 diamond row from the front to the back. Repeat that on the next 10 diamond row. Bunch the two diamonds together on the sidewall rail, inserting the string into the next sidewall hole from the outside in, and making the same knot as above. This is a 2K. Next, we're going to do a 1K. It is the same as the 2K above, but it only has one diamond on the rail. Place the string into the next 10 diamond row and insert the string in the next sidewall hole from the outside in and string a knot. After this first 1K, we're going to start shaping the mid pocket by skipping holes and using ones. So skip the next hole and string the same 1K as above, but be sure to skip that hole. Next, we're going to do a 1. Place the string in the next outer 10 diamond from the front to the back. Then insert the string into the next sidewall hole from the outside in. Place the string on the top of the back string and pull tight. This is a one. To finish off the pocket, Karate uses a unique loop to allow the mesh to shift low for better vertical cradling. Start off by placing the string in the next 10 diamond row from the front to the back. Skip a hole and insert the string in the next hole from the outside in. Go back to the previous skipped hole and insert the string from the inside out. Pull tight and tie a knot. When finished with the first sidewall, pull the mesh away from the head to make the diamonds fold on the sidewall string. Grab the last sidewall string and repeat the process on the other sidewall. Be sure you're using the same sidewall holes and knots or your pocket will not be symmetrical. When both sidewalls are complete, grab the remaining throat string. Insert the string into one of the middle throat holes from the outside in, loop it around the head and into the outer hole next to it. Place the string into the outer diamond on the 11th 10 diamond row from the front to back and weave the string across that 10 diamond row. The final diamond will place the string towards the inside of the head, grab that and insert it into the remaining outer throat hole from the inside out. Again, we're gonna wrap it around the head and place it into the final throat hole from the inside out. Even up the two strings and pull them as tight as you can. Then finish off the throat string with a knot on each end. Clean up the head by trimming the two sidewalls and tipping the ends with a lighter. Be sure to use sharp scissors and use the top part of the blue flame so you don't blacken the strings. Congratulations, you have now strung the C22 pocket. This pocket is great for outside dodgers with a focus on shooting. It excels at the offensive mini position because of its outstanding hold and high to mid whip. If you enjoyed this knowledge, please leave the video a like. In our next video, we will cover the shooting strings for the C22 pocket. You can see that video by clicking on the thumbnail on the right or checking out the eye in the top hand corner. In the comments below, let us know what you think of the C22 Pocket and what you'd like to see in an upcoming episode. To get Throne products featured here, please see thronelacrosse.com or you can hit the eye in the top right corner or check out the link in the description below.